Ooh. Oh, wow. 90s, Papo. Look at that. The best era. We're going late 90s. Shout out to the VOD. Shout out to Dave's archives. A little bit of like. Hey, like that man's content. Hey, you know, I like the video. I like what I like. You know what I we mean? We like him, and I think he likes us, too. You like what I'm saying? I like what I like, and that's what I like. Let's get it going. This little celebration is brought to you by the people who've helped so many Press other my people button. understand and enjoy cellular phones. Radio when the Radio Shack, Shack goes bankrupt. Of cellular phones. Surprised? We're not. Number We're one. Number one. When Radio the Radio Shack, Shack goes bankrupt. Come on down here and get yourself a uh, RC car and a USB cable. And replacement parts that don't work on anything. And those shitty oh, landline no phones. Ooh, answering phones. machines. Surprise? Shitty not, landline phones. A thousand bits Radio from Shack. Dave's archives himself. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. That's the Dave archive. The one and only. Doing God's work. Preserving the past. No such thing as UFOs. Come on, we might see one. Ah, alien! Very funny. Very funny. What? Shouldn't be messing what around with it, dude. Oh, uh oh, hey, I'm radio. Where would I go? It's happening. It's happening. Uh, how about how about how about Call, 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 call. Who are you calling? Hello. Erickson cellular phones. When life gets a little wild. Um. Hey, there it is. We're calling from. You want a highly reliable Ericsson Yeah, that was phone. really cool. Real shit, dude. They try to make all these commercials about it. So you'd stop being so afraid, dude. It's just cartoonish, dude. It would never happen. It's not real. You got to look into it, though, man. It looked pretty serious. They looked like they were being abducted. Absolutely terrifying. Although, do they just drive in the middle of the desert to have sex? Well, he's about to have sex, but not with a human. Mm, mm. It's about to get a machine's going to come down and suck all of his seed out of him. Ooh, so reverse. they can go back to their home planet and make more human slaves. So they make like uh, the dudes are get pregnant? Uh, they just use all that goo to make tons more humans. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. When Sam was certain, he'd take Tylenol. But hours later, he'd have to take more. And then he discovered... Oh, he keeps getting he zapped. Just too, yeah. all day. Tylenol. I keep playing with these open wires, and I just... He's taking up to eight. Believe works up to 12 ah. hours. Believe. All day Aww. strong, all day long. Cadbury's. Hey, two Cadbury bunnies. Two Cadbury... Oh, they are both just two big fucking turds. These big gooey turds they left behind. Eggs. Smells kind of good. Cream and creamy caramel. Bunny chicken. No bunny knows Easter better than Cadbury's. I'm not a fan of the, the cream egg. Mmm. It's a little bit too frosting y. You know, like that frosting flavor. The candy you can eat and drink. But the caramel, maybe. Eat it and drink it, boys. Breaking it down, Chief. I see. My favorite was a Radio Shack VHS Rewinder that looked like a red sports car. And it Dang. would it would spin up super fast. It would like ramp up, right? Go. Ooh. It was super speed. I remember the rewinders, man. Yeah. You remember? I remember. Rumor has it there's a Porsche owner out there who also owns a Saturn, and sometimes he races it. Hard a to believe. Saturn versus a Porsche? No shot. To find. Yeah, the thing took off. He caught air. Coming. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. That's the biggest crock. Still, it is something we wanted to see. This is real. We heard that sometimes he wins. Well, it is just a rumor. Wait, so they show their car being a loser. Yeah. There'll be DMCA just like this. <laughs> Hail of the pulp, take your coat. Hog heaven. Oh I'll have your God, hog plate dude. with a side of hog sauce. Yo, is this place real? Drive through barbecue? Oh, you're gonna need some Pepto for that. Oh, line your gut. It's number one Pepto. Uh, you're gonna need it for chat. Oh, I think barbecue might be up there. It's a risk. Do you take it before or after the big the big meal? You know what I'm talking? Big Probably dinner. As quick as you can. During. Oh, dude, put that in your. Oh, cup. put in your milk? You guys are saying Chinese? I'm saying low tier Mexican. Low tier Mexican food. Yeah, if you I'm can't handle the spicy, right? Something hot. Low tier Mexican, I think. A lot of Chinese. A lot of Chinese food boys in the chat. Yeah, that oil. The oil will seep through. Leaky gut. Hit that. Look at these lights. They say it costs a million dollars a day to light Las Vegas. 
Wow. I've been here six times. Twice. 46 times. This is the best place to watch people. Sick. Sick. This isn't the sexy Vegas that I'm... This is a real Vegas. All this these is random the scary people. Vegas. Oh, I love coming to Vegas. It's great. I'm here for Sigmund. I want Sigmund. Is he is he dead after the tiger attack? Hey. Oh, it's yes. It's yes. It's yes. Aren't yeah. you guys Siegfried and Roy? Um, Roy. He got That's attacked it. on stage, right? Yeah. He got mauled to death in front of everybody. It was on stage, if I'm correct. Dang. That's got to be insane. Not to death? Not to the death, though. He fought back a little bit, huh? So, uh, what, he died on the way to the hospital? Or what happened? I think he's still... Is he alive still? Oh, no, he's alive. Oh, okay. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, my God. Oh, can you imagine being at that show? Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude. I'm sick for this is Roy. <laughs> hey, can I get cops to the next show? No, nah, I just got his ball... Ripped his ball sack. Ew, oh my god, are you serious? People got their money's worth that night? You're fucked. No, dude, they got That's so traumatized. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they got Fucking traumatized. Hell. Okay. Oh, I'd pay to see a man fight a oh tiger. I'd pay to see a man take on a tiger. Then you see it and you go, oh, I've I, made a grave mistake. That was not worth $120. <gasps> That's cool. This is Everyone a predicted. Place. There really is only one Las Vegas. Oh, he died in 21. The other guy died in 20. Oh, they're both done. Oh, huh? okay. I thought something like that. Did he have like a crazy scar? I don't know. What it got? They were they were big. Like in the 90s, they were like the show. Yeah, it's like Blue no man one, group. No one ever watched them because you had to go to Vegas and they're like they're yeah. like these weird Austrian guys who hang out with white tigers. Yeah. Drunk and scream at the tigers. Bad kitty and they smack them on the nose and stuff. All it takes is one. Do we like eighties or nineties more? Both hit different. I don't know, man. I think they're they're both fun to watch. I think uh if you think uh, if you think of the demographic of like Twitch and YouTube, I think nineties is probably more in that sweet spot. But yeah. 80s can kind of find some deep classics like, hi, <laughs> I'm Walter Brimfley. You know, they have a different format. 80s is cool, but yeah, 80s is older. So there's going to be some stuff in there we just don't relate to. But mm -hmm. 90s, like, I, I'm I'm 91. So the 90s stuff, there's every now and then uh, there's something I don't know. But most of it, I'm like, oh, yeah. And then probably 2000s, you probably be even more relatable to people. I don't know yeah. how hard it is, Dave, to get like... 2000s tapes. I feel like those are kind of rare to see go up on YouTube. Yeah, because you think about when the VHS was going out, right? It's right when it was out. 2000s right? was kind of leaving. Dang, man. And then also around that 2000s era, copyright music was like, yeah. somebody won't go me. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of that shit. And I know Dave, you probably hit that all the time trying to upload those, but yeah. when they start getting into commercials, realized, oh my God, why are we trying to have this hokey guy go, hi, let me tell you about Midas. It's like we should just fucking blast Guns and Roses or whatever, yeah. and then have somebody dance. It's like way better. And they're like, oh shit. But yeah, two thousand. You have a shitload of two thousand stuff. You're ramping up. Ooh, get ready for the Ooh. next gen. Yes, Ooh, my man. I would love to see more two thousands, dude. That's good to fun. hear. That's really good to hear. Nineties and two thousands is good on you, man. I'm down. I'm sure you got a lot of eighties though. You probably get a lot of eighties tapes your way, which is still cool. But yo, some of that 90s and 2000s. I, but I think there's something extremely special about local TV in the 80s. Like, local TV ads for the 80s is mm -hmm. just like, whoo, memed out. Oh, Dave's been collecting TiVo boxes for the 2000s. So uh, th that's, that's interesting, <laughs> right? So some guy sells his TiVo to Goodwill or whatever. That is smart. But he didn't wipe the memory. That is smart. So he has nothing but like Friends reruns on Yo, his TiVo. Yo, Dave, I'm telling you, the 2000s are going to hit because the more people are going to be able to relate. In the... And TiVo didn't, as far as I can tell, like early TiVo didn't have like the, 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 the commercial skips. Oh, yeah. You had to, yeah, you you had to do it yourself. the block right? of time. Yeah. Really. That's awesome, man. Holy shit. That's so cool, dude. What are we looking at? We're looking at two men lace up another dude's socks. Oh, yes! His, his caca! His caca. You know, I have a lot of respect for goalies. It's probably like the unsung hero of the sport. 
It's a tough gig, man. You got to do splits, right? Lightning fast reactions while you have a thing like this over your eyes and it's this tiny puck. Fucking insane. I feel like it's, there's no such thing as a, an okay goalie. It's either your god tier or your shit. Best or nothing. Yeah. I gotta go. I gotta pee. Or you gotta take a sh- I gotta crap. One or two. Yep. Because if it's a one, we just give you a straw. Yeah. Two. I gotta take it all off. You know, back in the days, goalies didn't have helmets. Oh. Well, you gotta see. You <laughs> yeah. gotta see the puck. Yeah. <laughs> go, go. Double. Go, double, go. Two. Go, go. Full, full load. Oh, look, he's going to crap. He's going to crap. He's going to shit. He's going to shit. Snickers. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. oh he's got full load. Just go. Just go. You maybe don't show the Snickers. It's going to look like a turd while that guy says he has to shit. <laughs> he's eating it while he's doing it. I got to poop. I got to poop. Today, Microsoft makes the internet easy. Mm. Today, it's the Microsoft Network. And it's free from MSN. Nice. Today, it's easier to do what you want. Advice. Keep in touch and have some fun. Oh, this oh. game looks sick. Dude, we should stream this. Today, life just got a whole lot easier. It was the best of times. Today, oh, you were reading up on that Dickens. Uh, my- Reading up on the Dickens on Encarta. Motherfucking make bad. Free for a month, then how much? You call 1 800 843 7200. Look at all the stuff you're missing out. People Finder? Oh boy. Creepy, man. Uh-oh. Internet was a little scarier back then. MSN brings the internet to life cool. right on your Windows 95 based PC with sound, motion, and more. Whoa. Whoa, wait, what is who is who is, who is emailing? Can I please stay at Kate's house? Email From your mother. dad to Tyler CC mom. Email your mother. Dash dad. From dad. From dad. <laughs> but you CC'd her, dad. Why do I? Come on, dad. News as it happens. Plan and book a trip. Manage your Whoa. investment. Whoa. Whoa, we're investment portfolios looking good. Ooh, Alaskan oil's on the up. It's up. And about a million other things. Whoa, enter a word or phrase. Dude, is the Holy Grail real? Holy Grail. <laughs> what happens if I drink from the Holy Grail? <laughs> Yo, Canuck. What up, dude? Thank you, man. Call 1-800-843-7200 for your free month today. You'll get a free CD-ROM. Oh, the, with an for, MS- oh, the CD-ROM. Ugh. On Mongo Park. Send preview video to get you started. What the fuck are these web pages? Yo, man? old internet man. Ugh. It's just really extraordinary to see what you can do. That's Justin searching for UFOs on Tim MSN. Two? Oh my god. And unlimited hours on MSN and the internet. Oh, you tried to Timbuk. So call today, and you're on your way. In your eyes. From Oscar winner Oliver Stone. <laughs> Wild technology. I have seen the future. Wild dreams. It's too freaky to make up. Was he Wild fucking the- women. Whoa. Wild times. There is a conspiracy. James Belushi, Dana Delaney, Robert Loach. What the fuck? Yeah, Are you trying to have sex with me? Dickinson, Ernie Hudson. A major star study cast. Wild. Wild. Wild palm. Wild palm. Oliver Stone was on some new type of cocaine. <laughs> Whoa. I was looking to see if chat, if anyone was like, oh, that's Wild Palms. No one knew that one, huh? On the Sci-Fi Channel. Begins Monday at 8 Sci-Fi. Is that a show? It was okay? Six out of ten? Be on your way. Soon another busy day. Before your morning starts and you take a moment to explore you. Damn! Dane, I'm gonna end it. Four minutes in your cup. Two free minutes was good. Five free minutes was great. But ten minutes free with my psychic is even better. Nice. Say goodbye to those one question readings and hello, ten minutes free. Someone finally understands how long it takes. That sounds like third strike. Is there not a uh, psychic <laughs> on Twitch?
Ooh. Yeah, these psychics are so good. Why aren't they just on Twitch just hitting up everybody's shit? And having chat members come back and go, Dude, last week you said I'd fucking win something and I fucking won a prize at this thing. You're crazy. You are welcome. Yeah, or doing tarot cards and shit. May your Twitch Prime go far. <laughs> to get great advice. So I was thinking about becoming a legal secretary. Of course my- Xandar, was well, Xandar business model? It was like a 500 channel points or something, 500K. Friends told me I was wasting my time, but I listened to my psychic and she told me to go back to school. Now I've- They should be calling you. That's actually true. I like the fact that you ask your friends, should I go after this legal, you know, paralegal? Nah, nah. that's dog shit. Nah. Got nah, a great wasting time. time. Nah. Job. Talking about true friends, the psychic solution. There are tarot card streamers. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's like a whole thing. Again. Gotta be. 10 minutes free, it's where it's at. Five times as many minutes for free. Now that's for me. You gotta try this. 10 minutes with a real psychic. What are you waiting for? Call now. 10 free Who said minutes. you can't get something for nothing? This 10 minutes is free. She knew that my boyfriend Donald was scared of commitment, but the advice she gave me turned the table, and now he's begging me for attention. Wait, what, what, uh -oh. he, what was the psychic advice? <laughs> Damn, dude. What was the psychic advice? She, and her head was like, gun, 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 and now gun, he's gun, going after gun, me. Gun, 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 uh, 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 uh. Baby, please. I know I had commitment uh, uh, uh. issues in the past, but I love you. Uh, baby, I don't know what's going on. I'm having the worst luck everywhere I go. I'm dropping things. I'm, I'm hitting I'm stuff. I got cursed. I, I got a curse on me, baby. Please <laughs> take me back, please. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. With 10 minutes free, you can't lose. Miss Cleo told me to use my prime, so here I am. New glory. Thank you, dude. 10 hey, minutes here we free, are. let me find the psychic who is right for me. Great advice and 10 minutes free just for trying us now. Call 1 800 429 425. Entertainment only, what? Him? Get interested in me? No chance. No chance. Is she trying to get that dude? Oh, no. Too late. Me win the lottery. <laughs> No chance. I did. I did. Well, that little riff. Get AIDS. No chance. If you have sex. Oh, my God. Use a latex condom. If you use drugs, don't share needles. Learn about AIDS. Whoa. So I can either win a lottery. Or I can lose with AIDS. Jesus. What are the odds? Win cards? Do I have to wear a condom if I want to play the lotto? Pull up to a stop sign. Can I get AIDS from winning the lottery? Do the <laughs> I won the AIDS lottery. Check each other out. Oh, that Aurora. Do they admire the way the oh, other cars Oh, my move? God. Look at those Wonder palm what's under trees. The Do they fantasize about the aurora? Oh my God! For its dual overhead can be. Or do they just think? He you missed the AIDS. Oh, I didn't get AIDS. You almost got it. See, all those guys were winning the lottery. Yeah. Well, guess what? So and so won. <laughs> get AIDS? No chance. If you have sex, use a latex condom. If you use drugs. Don't share needles. Figured I'd let you know, Pops. I don't want you to nothing to happen to you. You called a psychic. I don't want nothing to happen to you. Can be. Now you have in yeah. You're not going to get AIDS if you get an old though, right? If you get an Aurora? Maybe. A good sweat isn't so good. Good the game sweat, boy. Great game, Brendan. Thanks, mate. That's why there's new Irish Spring Spring. Irish sport. Spring Boys. It works hard because you play hard. New Irish Spring Sport hard. has an extra antibacterial. Oh, wow. Oh, show him rubbing it all over his body. Oh, I clean it. ingredient that kills odor causing oh, germs. Oh, wow. Than yeah, we don't have enough like demonstrations on how to bathe. How am I supposed to do it? And regular soap. So I feel clean and fresh. Hey, it's hard new it, hard it, hard Irish oh. Spring hey, hey. Sport. It's oh. odor causing germs, so play as hard as you Nice head, Lassie. If you want to speak to the best psychic advisors, yes. your search Whoa. is over. Another it psychic. Like she just knew everything. It was awesome. Amazing. It's filmed like the Peter Popoff things. Is that Benny Franco? <laughs> Free sample psychic reading. Small to find out which is the best psychic I like search. that the psychics couldn't show up at the Ben Franklin strip mall. 
business model crazy nice you work from home back yeah. in the day crazy yeah. smart it's like you knew so much about me was amazing i never believed like what down and i heard it's like it really was true like what i don't know it just knew a lot about me and my family okay and that my mom and my dad and my yeah. brother yeah. and my yeah. sister it was great it was really really great it was more than i expected it was great hot from my Drop the fuck. If they would do that, though. Even Drop if, the beat. Even if it was fake. Even if you're like, this guy knew exactly the car I drove, exactly the color. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, that's kind of cool. He even predicted the exact moment I would realize that this moment was the best. Like, just do something. Like, listen, and I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe he's telling me this. My join ears the are on fire. Join the millions of callers who are living happier lives. Call now and join in the butt and find out for yourself that the spiritual psychic helpline is I still is think when I saw Psychic, that shit was crazy how close it was. It still fucking freaks me out every time I think about it. It's a little bit freaky. But uh, I'm not just going to go, oh, it was, it was dope. I told you guys. Oh, I've said this many times on the stream. Guillermo del Toro's uh, Nightmare Alley kind of gets, gets into that stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, cold reading and all that. Oh, was that on his newer thing that he did? Which newer thing? What is this, a show you're saying? It's a, it's a movie, oh, Nightmare it's a movie. Alley, with oh, uh, okay. Bradley Cooper. Oh, okay. Number one. Yeah, I saw one, and she fucking knew I didn't give her shit. She was like, oh, you you do something entertainment with humor. and so It was like crazy. I was mm -hmm. like, what mm -hmm. the fuck, dude? I'm trying to leave this room now. This is kind of creeping me out. One. It was the best. It was. It was really great. I'm glad I called. This is the best. Like this sounds like the best and the greatest, but I, I want to know strange specifics. Amazing and accurate. The best. She sensed you're funny. I didn't give her shit. I was like this. No, I've never laughed. I wasn't wearing anything funny. I was wearing a black shirt. Great. I was no nothing. I was just Were you like, doing Djibouti dubs quotes, though? I wasn't doing anything. I'm telling you, I knew it before I was even 100 yards of the place. I was like, okay, we'll go do it. But I was like, I'm not giving her fucking nothing. And she was like, you do something online. You make people laugh. That's your thing. And you've been doing it for a long time. And you had a back surgery. It was crazy. I was like, what the fuck? I wasn't limping and going, oh, I'm funny on the internet. And it's not I like, didn't give her nothing. It's not like you could uh, submit your name to book in a head, right? I didn't, dude, it was random. I pulled up, random, mm -hmm. pulled up, random, fucking give me 20 bucks in a bucket, I'll tell you some she shit. She was a tier three sub? Crazy. That's what everyone says. You know how fucking weird it is, though? She was a fan. There's no way. <laughs> she was like a fucking 55-year-old, just like random lady. It's crazy, dude. Mm. About my life, no one else ever told me. And her whole career weighed on this one moment to have me validate her. I mean, we're advertising her quite a bit. Jesus. The spiritual psychic helpline is the hottest and hippest psychic line. Hippest. With the most accurate and caring. Hi, it was the fortune telling you, buddy. <laughs> it was me, yeah, boy. <laughs> it was me. In the curse you. Curse you. I curse you with an eight-inch <laughs> penis. Plus, every time you call, you receive a free sample reading. Easy street of mind. Call the spiritual psychic helpline. Join the winning I gotta, do, I gotta do it now. She just told me you have to do this right now. Listen. Team, I know you question everything, free. but do it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you've been baking, huh? Mom, I decided to bake us some of your delicious <laughs> new snack wells Mom. Food brownies. Don't you think you got a little carried away? I couldn't help myself. They taste so moist and fudgy. But mom, you baked so moist and fudgy. Oh. That's all we need to eat. We don't need other food groups. <laughs> oh so make you happy. Many. Oh, they're easy to make. <laughs> I forgot my, oh my keys God. again. Mother? I kissed her. <laughs> Try the new frosting too. These are Dude, that was a really good commercial. Mother! This is like one of the best. <laughs> Look at the mask rip, dude. The reveal. I love the hand of the whole time. There was nothing on the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Smiling from the cheek to cheek, I love it. And fudgy. But mom, you Let me go back. No, our hands were no. Make so many. She wasn't wearing gloves. Oh, they're easy to make. <laughs> I forgot my keys again. Mother? That zoo? <laughs> Son! <laughs> Now there's a snack. Oh, it's so bake. cool. Snack rolls, reduced fat brownie, muffin, and I want her to be my mom. Pillsbury. Try the new frosting, too. These are the pillowcases that oh. go with the sheets. That go with the comforters. Oh my god. Martha! 
dark. That go with the curtains. Dark. That go with Before the shower Before prison. Curtains, pre prison, that go yeah. With the towels. Darn. That go with everything you need for your bed and bath. Oh, my taxes. I gotta go pay go them. Go oh, no, it's insider trading. Never mind. Martha Stewart's new everyday collection, exclusively at Kmart. Darn. I forgot to make the bed. Martha Stewart Dude. style. Kmart's low prices. Good comeback, though. She made a comeback. Makes me want to shout. DMJ. I think it's a commercial version, though. Sounds like it's kind of cheap. New shower wipes. Now wipe out stains. I always wanted these things to kind of work, you know? Shooby doo wop. Like the the spot stuff, but I don't think it does. We just hit a little catch up on a white tee. Yeah, tea, yeah. Boom, gone. Oh my god, it's like magic. Yeah. Just rub on to help remove oh. stains and. Yo, Kenny, what up, dude? Yeah, Street Fighter Six. I'm excited. Ooh, shoot. I, wanna, I haven't I haven't looked at any world tour stuff. I've completely ignored all spoilers and what it is. I just know it's kind of Shenmue esque. It's looking good, dude. You know, it's got quests. I'm excited for it, dude. Oh, and those classic yeah. skins. Woo, I'm excited, dude. I'm excited, man. Y'all should make Tommy. Wizzo? <laughs> Wizzo? I'm down for Sonic Wizzo. Boom. Sonic Boom. <laughs> Shout wipes. Keep More Zelda? I think so. It's just going to be intermittent through the next couple months, I think. I think it's a good chill stream for yeah. now. I mean, it's going to be game of the year. So. Ooh, I'm Resident Evil sure. 4, though. Nah, Zelda's, Zelda fans are going to Zelda it up to Zelda status. Diablo? Question mark? Street, Street Fighter? Question mark? Off you. SC Johnson Wax. My family stopped brushing their teeth. Nice! I got my entire family stopped brushing. How'd you do that? How, well, how was your weekend? <laughs> they did. I my convinced my entire family to stop brushing their teeth. <laughs> they did. More Gola Manzel. Yeah, there's a lot we need to get to. That's a brush. She does. Today, smart families don't just brush their teeth. They reach with the remarkable Reach Plaque Sweeper. What's like the research on elect electric toothbrushes? Because I've been rocking electric toothbrush for like the last, like ever since it came out. I just hopped on that train. Aren't they like way better? So I asked my dentist, and he's like, get this specific type, and I got that, and I've been rocking that. And it's electric. It's electric. I always thought they're just better, right? Yeah. God tier. That's what I thought. Yeah. Like and I, a regular I fucking brush is like, I feel like it's not doing I, anything. I still think it could do the job. I'm not going to really? I'm not gonna throw shade too hard. I, you should yeah. be brushing your teeth every at least twice a day. Do you know which one? Chat wants to know. What's the one your dentist it's said? The, uh, it's the Oral-B with the pressure gauge, Yo, like the pressure one. I got that Oral-B, dog. That's what I got. Yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't done the water pick thing because I just I floss manually because yeah, I'm floss. poor. But, you know, I, I, I just do that. Hit the floss. I hit the, the little, the little pitch, those little pitchforky looking flossers. Yeah. Fucking hit that in the shower. Yeah. Fucking doing that. I'll get the job done in 10 minutes while I'm doing the soap and everything all in one. I heard the water pick's pretty strong, though. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a cavity in years, though. It's revolutionary bristle tip reaches where... I just always felt like this is doing nothing. Black and cavity. Then you do that electric, you're like, woo! I feel like I'm at the dentist. I think what the biggest misconception, as far as I understand, I could be wrong, is... People brush too hard. Oh, yeah. I saw uh, the other day I saw some meme of some lady like, this is my toothbrush. And it looked like that. Goes, this is my husband's. And all the bristles yeah. were flat. Yeah. Like, it was, like, yeah. curved out. Yeah. <laughs> we got any flat bristle boys in the chat? Dude, I'm telling you, some people overuse them. And it's just, like, the guy's rubbing flat plastic on his mouth. Yeah, he's trying to get the popcorn ceiling off the roof. Your boyfriend got that? Dude, slow early, it down. Bir early birthday present. I may just walk into a dentist and say, "Can I get a freebie?" They give them out for free after. <laughs> you know what's probably? You should be like, "I know this sounds stupid, de uh, Doc, but can you show me how I should be brushing my teeth?" Overused toothbrush. Just dude, they look so funny when they're all blown flat. out. <laughs> and you're like, I can't believe you still even can do anything with it. <laughs> oh my god, yes, this is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. If this is you, you're. I think you're doing it wrong. Or they're just flattened, completely flat. God damn that! Which makes me think I should be getting be changing mine out soon. You're brushing hard, hard man. brushing, yeah. Brutal. And they have like super soft ones now. They're really nice. Using like different <laughs> shit. Yeah, I think this is. I think this is the fucking actual like meme one. 
Look at that. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> Dang, you're really fucking getting in there, man. Yeah. Nothing gets past me. Nothing. Oh, oh, Carpet bombing. No technique. other toothbrush is designed like the Reach Plaque Sweeper. It lets you get even back teeth thoroughly clean. You don't brush. Nope. To clean hard to reach places, don't just brush. Reach. From Sci Fi Channel Pictures. Oh, we got another Sci Fi I love movie. To... Oh, cool. It's Michael Jackson's Captain EO. <laughs> to a science fiction classic. Oh, my dear God. Hey, <laughs> she looked familiar. Out of Space 2. It came from Out of Space 2. Again. Sci Fi Channel original movie. It came movie. from Out of Space again. Sci Fi TV movies. Mm. Sci Fi Channel TV movies, man. Mm. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. I wonder if you could. So, I, I. Who owns Sci Fi? The channel. I'm sure you look it up. It'll tell you. But I almost guarantee that no one is claiming any of that copyright. Probably not. You could probably watch It Came From Outer Space 2 on Twitch, and no one would know. If it's Viacom, then no. You can't get you can't get away with it. You think Viacom is, is copyright claiming It Came From Outer Space 2? Viacom, yeah. Viacom is Ugh. notoriously known for being the most. You can't post our shit anywhere. We'll get you. We'll Jesus find you. Christ. NBC, maybe. If, they, if it's NBC, they'll probably still get it. NBC By big. Saturday. Hi, Bob Vila here with an exciting new hand tool from Sears. If you're impressed with our Craftsman RoboGrip pliers, wait till you see this. Robot? Hey, Jim, how you doing with that table? Oh, these hex nuts are driving me crazy. My adjustable wrench keeps rounding off the corners, and I don't have box end wrenches for all the different sizes. Here, try the Craftsman Pocket well Socket said. Adjustable Ooh. Box End Wrench. With a one-hand adjustment, you can lock wow. onto nuts and bolts of oh, almost any these. size, metric or standard, from any 5 size. sixteenths to 3 quarters of an inch, or 8 to 18 millimeters. Wow. The closed box end clamps tight. Nice. The heat-treated steel construction makes it durable. And because it's a craftsman hand tool, made in America, it's guaranteed forever. Work on any size bowl. For rush delivery Those are some of your craftsman pocket like socket your Sears charger or the yeah, credit card ready call. This would be a successful Kickstarter. This looks like it works. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one bolt thing you'll ever need. Five five nine nine. Worked That's on all of them. Three nine zero five five nine nine. Or send your check or order for only nineteen ninety nine plus shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Call pocket socket. Three nine zero five five nine nine. Is right that now. a pocket socket in your pocket? The rules have changed. It has the most powerful gas and diesel oh, engines of any wow. full-size oh, pickup. Fuck. It has the most available payload and towing. Whoa, 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 it has whoa, the roomiest whoa. cab. <laughs> Better resale value than Ford, Chevy, or GMC. It's a Dodge Ram. It's the truck that wrote a whole whoa, whoa, new rule book. Now wow. available so in a sexy. Edition. Ooh, just beige. A wide ass bus seats. That was a huge middle console. Dodge Ram. Oh, that's America's truck, brother. Have changed. All the mirrors. Fucking table in the middle. Yeah, you can yeah. play poker on that middle console. Yeah, huh? that little console. In my house, we're like from here and up. What do I need to see the rest of my body? She got them uh, real thin brows. Yeah. Sculpted. Ultra she thin. The, she got the parentheses. I decided to change my life. Oh. I lost over 50 pounds on the Slim Fast In plan. six the months? Went six months on Slim Fast. How much is that a week? And up. what do I need to see the rest of my body for? I was fat. I decided to change my life. I lost over 50 pounds, six and a half months. How do the quick math? It's crazy. 50 pounds on the slim fast plan. The energy went through the roof. Shake for breakfast. Shake for lunch. Energy went and it went right back out. Yeah, back side. Blew it out the booty. This is a turbo shitter liquid. Eight a week? That's insane. Nine? nine? Your poor heart. Eight or nine pounds a week. I think a two, um, two a week is max from what I've heard. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Like, if you're doing more than two, like, you must be very overweight. Delicious. It's the only thing that worked for me. Now with 23 vitamins and minerals. 12 pounds protein, a month. That's calcium, fast. Calcium, fiber, all the balanced nutrition Ooh, sheesh. like a healthy 20 meal. grams of sugar, I though. I know I look good. That's the confidence that I have now. Slim fast, balanced nutrition Take for it a healthy easy. Life. It's my miracle. Yeah, that's I mean, crazy. if it's you're just uh, pounding sugar, I guess. Yeah, shitting it out. Yeah. You are watching Butcher, thank you the for the Prime Dip channel. Sci-fi. Oh. 
Oh no. They lost pretty much everything. They came in the middle of the night. And we were thinking, are we Went next? through all of our stuff. They keep coming back. I wanted security. I could really feel. Introducing Security Link from Ameritech. It gives people a feeling that's all Both of those fun. sound like just made up names for like a movie <laughs> ad. Yeah. It's security like, Link Ameritech. Cyber America. <laughs> Nowadays. Complete peace of mind. Thank God for Ameritech. Hours a day. Now everything's protected. Now I protect Whether my I'm boy. If you've been thinking about a home security system, call now for our special offer. It costs a lot less than we thought. It's so easy to use. It's so easy and cheap. Now you can get a home security beep, system beep, from beep. the only advanced communications yeah, company that guy in the never business. breaks into our hands. Attack, a worldwide leader in making communications These two easy. guys keep Call. track of your security. He's like, is someone breaking in your house? Yeah, they're breaking in these houses. Now for our special free start program. Free installation plus 24-hour monitoring for less than a dollar a day. So you just turn it off. Off and on. And tell them that it's on. Mm -hmm. It's a company you can really rely on. Security Link from Ameritech. Is it auto turrets? My mama comes over and says, <gasps> Lemon, did Yo, not teach you nothing. I had the <laughs> biggest crush on the Pine Saw Lady. I want the picture of Pine Saw Lady's mama in my house. She's like... <laughs> She's looking at you like all sassy. It's such a great photo. <laughs> Queen, yeah. Like, head is back in the picture like... Like, have you lost your mind? <laughs> That cleans like pine saw. I said, Mama, I use lemon fresh pine saw. Ooh. It has the power of pine saw lemon with a fresh, fresh lemon scent. Mama, see, you had a crush on her. Oh, pine saw lady. Yeah, you know she smelled good too. Lemon fresh. Lemon fresh. Lemon fresh. Says, honey, you can take your lemon fresh pine saw and clean my house anytime. <gasps> Mama's alive. Her ghost. You know that. Dude, I want animated like Harry Potter style portrait yes. of pine saw mama in my house. <laughs> pine saw mama. <laughs> <laughs> every, Love time you, I, saw every time I walk by, she just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feeling you get with ordinary contact lenses, it's the buildup of dirt and deposits. Bow, bow. the free contacts. I'm getting there, honey. That's why I called Johnson and Johnson at 1-800-701-6100 and got a free trial pair of AccuView from my doctor. AccuView. AccuView always gives me the comfortable, Crystal fresh clear. new lenses. They know about the free pair. They know. AccuView is the lens doctors the prescribe most often. Mr. Curtis, uh, even for you. They know where to call. They know. Change to AccuView. Shut up, nerd. Another contacts. dumb husband commercial. The oh. rainbow. Oh. Yes. Taste the rainbow. Oh, I remember Dude. the hell out of this commercial. Fuck yeah. I always thought, man, I want that to happen. Just once can it rain Skittles. These were good commercials. I like these. You know, the taste the rainbow. They're all gone now. Yeah, they got banned, right? Or they have to, like, change their recipe. They added that the green one's no longer lime. It's apple. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, so it's better. Much better. But you have to get I, I, the tropical pack if you want a green apple or whatever. Do you guys eat Skittles all at once or do you do like combinations or you go one at a time? Give me that fucking green, dude. You mix and match? They're all the same. You want that combo deal. A new kind of Unless you got purple, you separate, separate mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. purple. Fixident. A fixident with no artificial flavors or colors. Introducing new Fixident Free. It's got the strongest, longest hold of any free adhesive Fix -so with no artificial flavors or colors. Fix it in and forget Fix -so it new Fix it in free. Glue for it? your mouth. It's glue for your mouth. For your dentures. Oh, they show me, show an old guy gluing. You know what? They should. Well, I, I don't even know what it is. I thought it was gum if or they, something. If I had dentures and they showed a guy put it in and go, hur, 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 show it. Like, now that's the dentures I need. This, I'm like, what are we looking with at? No artificial flavors or colors. Uh, mouth guard? And, and that looks like gum. <laughs> so, yeah. like, what are we doing? With new fix it and free. Try chewing fix it and Gum, or it's glue for dentures. Yes. I cannot live mouth glue. Day oh, this fucking commercial. Jesus. The AC's busted this, up. This commercial is going to make me feel hot and sweaty. Summer's coming, boys. God, I remember seeing this all the time, dude. Oh, this, this might be the most popular 90s commercial ever.
Tomorrow's and I think they like start showing it during like the peak hours of summer in California. Mm -hmm. And this fucking sweaty P where it's like, oh my god, uh -huh. fucking shit doesn't work. <laughs> that look right there. All the fucking uh, time. Uh, my like, under boob now. sweat. You'll call now? Yesterday. 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 I love how he's just like, it's fine. And he, <laughs> he's probably like glued to his chair. It's fine. She's like, you said you'd call yesterday. You said you'd call Sears. I'll call today. His hair is like, I didn't even even shower. I called today. His hair is wet. You call now. Look at him. What the didn't even you... shower and he's just wet. I'll call now. Now's the time to call Fuck Sears. Fuck yeah, get that big boy in the bag. Free in-home estimate on installed central air conditioning. A Sears air big conditioning unit. professional I'll will come to back. your home and complete a free energy savings consultation. You'll learn how hot to milk. Them. Thanks. Hot milk on a hot day. Best system mm. for your home's special needs, and how state-of-the-art engineering means greater energy efficiency. That Kenmore. A new Kenmore could save 10 to 44 percent on your annual cooling costs. In time, even pay for itself. Sears Pays also for itself. offers fast emergency installation, plus our satisfaction guarantee. I'll call now. Don't wait. Call for your free in-home estimate and energy savings consultation. I remember the end, tail end There's being so long. There's absolutely no obligation. So call <laughs> Sears now. So what's a paper And then she's all, her hair's not like hot and sweaty. And now she in. loves you. About tomorrow. Another scorcher. Cool. Cool. Curl. <laughs> we'll just stay inside and eat ice cold fruits. Curl. Sick. There are many questions in life. But here's the biggie. Oh, those How do you act responsibly nose. on the outside and have fun inside? You got it. Double mint. It tastes fun. Put that legendary, one of a kind, never been duplicated taste in your this face. Is so and 90s. you can't help but feel good. We're not doing the twins anymore, huh? That's double mint. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Aren't we? Really, yeah. really good. Outside, you'll still be all business. But inside, your taste buds will huh? be doing the Watusi. So double your fun with... Oh, there they are. Twins! We, like, quickly covered them up. Like, by the 90s, we realized a lot of people aren't actually into the twin sexual fantasy. They realize it's incest. <laughs> yeah. They're they're actually blood siblings. It's more of an 80s thing. Incest. 80s hot. The incest 80s era hotness. <laughs> Doubleman gum. Sounds great <laughs> until you realize. Uh, let's get some old guy dancing on a desk now. <laughs> uh, uh, I was so happy. Getting the gertie. Uh, I'm having so much fun with my double mint gum. I don't need to work. It's the fun part. On the next episode of Sci Fi Channel Sightings, examine a UFO encounter with this by a plane full of passengers, a flight crew, and an Air Force commander. Dude. People were very nervous. They didn't know what was happening. Then. They didn't know what was happening, that there was an alien. Sound like, sound like Lady Tommy Wiseau. <sighs> I saw the aliens. I did. Aliens always get the worst, you know, the worst eyewitnesses. Yeah. Most I'm eyewitnesses, incredible. just like, hmm? What? Really? But he was crazy. And we all saw it. I saw it. It was crazy. Sightings is on YouTube. Sightings is on YouTube. Thank you, Scamdar. Training cancer is the exact same thing as training a dog to find drugs to training a dog to find bombs. Can man's best friend detect cancer? Plus, psychic Peter James unravels the nightmarish past. Dog detect cancer. Maybe certain, like, maybe certain types. Maybe. I'm not going to just, I think dogs are tight. I don't know. Dee Dee's growling. Dee Dee detects something. Dee Dee's detecting something right now. Dee Dee, you good? But then, so what? Every time your dog barks at you, you're going to be like, oh no, he hates me. I have cancer or he hates me. I can't tell. Rest <laughs> of this haunted house, we bring you the facts. You make up your. Yo, Dave's archives heading out. Thank you for stopping by. Dave. Hey, thanks for the fun time. Mind. Thank you for doing this, getting these up, man. Sci Fi Channel Sightings, Wednesday at 10 30. I want to hunt ghosts. You're more into ghosts. I want to see a ghost. I want to detect ghosts. I want to take pictures of uh, ghost orbs. Uh, aliens, man. That's where it's at. The rule. As a rule. And yeah, we saw this one. But this even at I Whoa. Wait, I don't think we saw it actually taking something well. away. 15 tons. That's because that every that? Ram truck has to pull much more than its own weight, even at you idle You think speed. you want that, Pops, but That's you don't. That's our rule. 
Damn, God's that can tow. The rules have changed. Them ghosts can be Green haunting your ass. Seven hundred billion dollars in sales, like AT and T. People talk. Reach one trillion dollars in real estate transactions, like the Century Twenty One system. They must be talking to us because when you're this big, the number one real estate system, you can do things. Lonzo said he saw he saw two ghosts. Really? What were they doing? Were they kissing or something? Others can't. Like average a home bought or sold by our customers every minute. Yeah, that's a good one. If you're ever afraid of ghosts, just take out your camera. Take a picture. Ghosts hate cameras. Yeah, they detect the uh, the so, radio signal. So do aliens. Apparently. Oh, they hate it when you bring out those damn dirty cameras, man. Every day. If no ghosts are real, internet. shouldn't there be a lot more ghosts? Everywhere. Nationwide survey. Homeowners said they'd recommend Century 21 by 6 to 1 over the nearest competitor. So call number one. Century 21. Centrum is always up to date on nutritional news. More reason than ever to take Centrum. Centrum gives me Do you the take best multivitamins. Centrum. Uh, last time I tried that, I was just getting stomach aches all the time. I was like, really? fuck this. I'm so over it. Mm. Tried it, though. You? Yeah. I take them every day, yeah. You take Centrum? Not Centrum, but just like Amazon shit. Well, Puff is on that Amazon shit. Fish oil. As to offer. As nutritional science advances, so does the Centrum formula. Because Centrum scientists are committed to giving you the right nutrients in the amounts you Zinc. need. Centrum, always more complete than any. You know, Pops is like 47 years old, so he needs it. Yeah, my colon <laughs> needs it, dude. <laughs> Mine's still tight. Still holding up. You know, the leading brand. You know, they can, uh, a doctor can prescribe butt plugs. Huh. To, to strengthen it, right? Because you think about it, you got to hold it in there, right? I just see Pine Saw Mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Pine, Pine Saw Mama, I, I know we've been through a lot, but as your physician, I, I got to, I, I know this is strange, but I got to prescribe you this, this butt plug. I know it sounds awkward. Have you lost your mind? Medical That's grade like, butt plugs? <laughs> Medical grade. <laughs> we'll bring you in this room and we'll size you up. And, uh, we'll it's kind of a one-size-fits-all type of a thing. Harder about what I put in my body. That's why I take Centrum. Centrum, more complete from A to Z. My mom gets the Centrum made just for me. Centrum Junior. Oh, dude, the fun gummies with the orca whale and his friends. Captain C. Wyan. Oh, you couldn't afford the uh, Flintstones, huh? Shamu. It's and crew. Shamu and crew. Sleep for kids. From Sci-Fi Channel oh, Pictures. Oh, hell yeah. The chilling sequel to a science oh, fiction classic. <laughs> oh, my dear God. Oh, my dear it God. Came from Outer Space 2, a Sci-Fi Channel original God. movie. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, Sci-Fi Saturday. Sci-Fi. I'm Bruce Wagner, creator of Wild Palms. I'll be here along with you. There's the guy. This is the guy that created you this to know. craziness. <laughs> yeah, he's on some next level shit. There he is. With Jim Belushi, Dana Delaney, Kim Cattrall, and Ernie Hudson to walk you through the mind bending. <laughs> mind bending. Begins Monday at 8 p.m. Yeah, I really want to watch this. Today in pediatricians' offices, parents are hearing about children's Advil. As safe on a child's stomach as children's Tylenol, yet it can control fevers almost 45 minutes faster and lasts almost twice as long. Cool. Children's Advil, wow. just a better fever medicine. It's just better. Introducing a new kind oh, of Don't show me fix it in. If you're not going to show me an old person <laughs> gluing their fucking face, I don't want to see it. Yeah, I want to see him spackle it in. <laughs> a fix it in with no artificial Like flavors. a butter knife? Yeah. yeah. Introducing a new fix it in free. It's got the strongest. You're not going to show it. With new fix it your cinematic dreams in the dimension of movie magic. At 7, the Saturday double feature in Bay. Whoa! Cool, yeah. two movies? The original Dead. H.G. Wells. The original War of the Worlds. What? I, I thought it was black and white. Wow. They look shitty. Ugh, the antennas? War of the Worlds. Pew, 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 pew. Nine, the Sci-Fi Channel original. Came from Outer Space 2. It came from oh. Outer Space 2. Cool. Sci-fi channel weekend. Sci-fi channel. I feel like most of those movies are just people, at, like C-list, D-list, maybe F-list actors lying on Vasquez rocks in yep. LA, going, "Oh my god! Oh, they're here! <laughs> oh my god! Here it is! Oh my gosh!" And a little bit Life. of pyrotechnics. Yeah. Tonight, Come. and it's good. It's got heart. Oh, yeah, me. true acting. Whoa. Viper. It's about time. Oh, and 
Start your commercial. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Just wait His for it. His old dusty lungs. Yeah, I've got a brand new role to play now. Ex smoker. Only this time. Oh, that's why, that's well, why they kept well, it. Well, that's yeah. why he's got the the little dissenting uh, eczema. I ain't smoking no more. I'm not acting. After 50 years of smoking, I've finally quit for real. Nice. I got some nice, help. The Nicotrol patch. From day one, Patching, Nicotrol huh? helped control even my tough cravings. There were no multiple steps, no lengthy regimens. In six weeks, I'd quit. When your cravings uh, are tough, <laughs> Nicotrol is tougher. See, if you don't want the dusty lungs, don't smoke. Yeah, you don't want to start. Don't start. start. Don't do your commercials like that. Don't even start. Ex-smoker. This is a role I'll be playing for a long time. And he sucks on the patch. Yeah, do you just get addicted to the patch? <laughs> yeah, chew the gum and the patch. He's pogging now. He's pogging in ah, that. Yeah. He's, he's bringing in that fresh air. He's going, <laughs> <laughs> fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the dock of the bay. Suck <laughs> in the air. Long, long time. Join us now I'm for not Worldwide Weird. What? There's <laughs> more than that Worldwide Weirdo you just saw. What? Real news, downlink from our master satellite. This is Worldwide Weird. A meeting of traditional healers was held recently in the city of Chique in Peru. More than 200 people gathered to discuss ways to protect their profession and improve its standing in the public. What is he rubbing on that guy? Goat cock? The puppy? The key goal of the meeting it's a rat. was to draft a law. He's like a clump of hair. Which that is a rat? It's a rat? For it's a rat. Oh, it's a rat. Recognition and regulation of natural. Oh, it's a healing. guinea pig. <laughs> it's a live it's guinea a pig. It's <laughs> like, bro, what is going on right now, dude? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Uh, you rub guinea pigs, good for you. He's strong and them are very strong. You take guinea pigs, great, great for you. Okay. At the conference, uh. the participants. Oh my god! <laughs> no, no, That's a no, really bad no, cut. No, no, no. That's a really badly timed cut. <laughs> on the footage. You gotta get the juice. <laughs> Provide for the recognition and regulation. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guinea pig. Oh, natural healing. Oh, 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 participants oh. conducted various demonstrations on the powers of natural healing. That's a root. That's a root. That's a root, that's a root juice. It's not the root blood juice. of the guinea pig. Among them were drinking the juice of tree bark to improve vision and using frogs to cure male impotence. Your boner? What, what do you do to that frog? What do we do to the frog? Uh, it's going to be like that fucking chimp video where he what, face fucks the frog. What are we doing to that poor frog? <laughs> Yo, frogs give you big boners? They give you dick warts. You lick the toad? The healers hope that a new law would provide a way it? to separate um, legitimate practitioners from imposters who not only take patients' I hope money, this is legit. but often endanger their health. I don't know what that guy... You think what this guy's doing right now is legit? I think he knows what he's doing. What that frog do? <laughs> it's legit. Frogs give boners? Huge bone, like big bone, strong really? boners. This seems legit. This is like wrestling stuff. Like this is Triple H and all over. Oh, this your is face, what so. like uh, Paul Bear would be doing on the side of the ring to distract, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Shawn Michaels. Yeah. This is worldwide weird. Cool. You are watching the sci-fi. That's a channel. cool bumper. Sick 3D. Nice. I want more worldwide weird. I want to see more people rubbing guinea pigs all over themselves. That was cool. <laughs> Whoa, I'm 
tripping the fuck out. This is weird. This could be cursed. Wait, this sounds familiar. What show is this? This feels familiar, this feels right? so familiar. Cool stuff. The TV show? Cool stuff. Cool stuff from the cosmos. Whoa. No one got this. I've seen this before. This it hits Somewhere familiar. Deep in the back of the brain. I guess we're watching this TV show. Hello now. and welcome to another galactic adventure of cool stuff from the cosmos. I'm the sci fi trader, your star hopping tour guide to the best in sci fi collectibles. And this week I've got the very best from Star Wars, direct from the Empire's Yield oh, gift cool. shop. A visit with the Prince of Darkness himself. Yo, we got the. Whoa. Is that a Darth Vader ashtray? Yo, it's like the concept art of like Darth Vader's mask. It's all like long. Cool. Darth Vader. Also, a bounty hunter's dream oh, come sick. true. Oh, sick. Can, like make out with him. Han Solo oh, on ice, captured and frozen in carbonite. And the work of Star Wars visionary and conceptual artist Metal Ralph Cards. McClure. From a tale of dark justice, the a Brandon that. Lee statue. From Pro, the Crow. It's James O'Bear's mythic creation come to life once more. Celebrating 30 years with an unforgettable work of art from a true That's original sci-fi classic, 2001, A Space Odyssey. And finally, from the first episode so of So the Star show Trek, is just showing off like, a one of a kind oh, do they sell this stuff? Cool shit. Mysterious, all so it's like a home only. shopping network. Mm -hmm. SQ, if you would like to add any of these legends to your collection, yeah. just yeah. call 1-800-700-3060. And if you want to see QVC more... QVC for nerds. What a weird time in TV my cool stuff check out the sci-fi channel's website at www. Uh, the internet really made this obsolete.com yeah where else am i gonna get a signed De darth vader helmet gotta watch this show after 20 years theater audiences are once again mesmerized by the voice of james earl jones as the evil darth how vader. much though but like those who watched star wars for the first time in 1977 many fans today don't realize that the man behind the mask of vader isn't jones but rather british actor david prowse I just saw the clip going around with Prowse, his voice, where they took out James. Have mm. you ever seen it? No, no, no. Oh, it's so weird and lame. Yeah. You're used to, you need to get her out of here. Yeah. And it's just like, you need to get her out of here right away. Right Don't this you, instant. You get out of here right now. He's like, I am Darth Vader, and I want you and you, rebel scum, you're rebel of my, off of my ship. And then G Earl Jones had to come in and put his, put his thing over it. But God damn, when you hear it without, it is weird. Cheerio, cheerio. This may not be a surprise if you're a real hardcore Star Wars fan, but for those of you who didn't know, now the truth can be told, David Prowse is Darth Vader. Maybe to you. Yeah. I'm gonna give him a more recognition for, you know, for basically... Oh, what... shit, they got him on camera. Look oh, at him. Darth Vader. Here he is. I did in 20 years ago. Oh, fan reaction is absolutely sensational. I went to Kentucky and did a, in, in Nashville. We did a North Cross signing session there. I started at midday. I finished at half past 11 at night. And it was this would have been the voice? You know, no breaks. Then this is Darth Vader's original voice, yeah. Huh. Yes. The Rebel Alliance. Huh. Rebel, Rebel scum. I am Darth Vader. Yes. Off of my ship right this instant. The Rebel Alliance. Like, it's good for his henchmen, but not for him. Right. Or C-3PO, maybe. You can have a break to go to the toilet. Many fans are fascinated by Vader's black outfit, cape, and helmet, and constantly ask Prowse what it was like to work in it all day while filming the movies. Well, it went on in 15 different pieces and made was made from quilted leather and fiberglass and all the rest of it. And the heat from the use of sweat buckets in it, and the heat used to rise up and go up inside the mask. You missed up the eyepieces, and, the, and then, of course, you couldn't see where you were going. And I started to walk, and all of a sudden I'm doing this, you see? And one of the idiot stormtroopers is stood on my cape idiot. behind. <laughs> this so, idiot, bloody idiot, I'm sorry. Bullet all it is. Eventually, it breaks at the neck, and I just sort of lurch forward without the cape on, and uh, sort of walk into the set and, and fall over the. It two was him breathing though. Ted, I bet if there was like people Ooh, slipping cool. and falling behind this guy, because he's sweating hard like that. He probably can't see too. Or, and then, and then of course, all the other stormtroopers pile in behind us, like you know, and, uh, and there's this huge, great pile of bodies on the floor. So it was amazing. Fans also ask David why he doesn't sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> people come up to me. <laughs> I, I'm actually Darth Vader. Yeah, sure you are, Whatever, buddy. dude. Uh, uh, yeah, 
Uh, how you, what do you oh, do? you mean C-3PO? They got a r- nice restaurant. This guy's trying to get a free meal saying he's fucking Oh, I'm Darth, Darth Vader. Vader. No, I am. I'm quiet. It really, it does. It, <laughs> let me hear your fucking voice. You know, and they said, what did you think of the James Earl James' voice? And I think I, was like, I said, what I think of I think it was absolutely fantastic. And they said, would well, you think you could do the same? And I said, no. I said, this is CNN. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Not bad. It actually wasn't bad. He not was like, worst. he was memeing on it. But I mean, for his deep guy doing deep voice, it was not I bad. I mean... Earl Jones just shows up and he, he, he but the job. But it, it is, not you bad, know? not bad, not bad. Not you got to do this for James Earl. <laughs> Mufasa steps up and just talks normal, and you're like, oh, but mm-hmm. I'll do whatever he says. Mm-hmm. <laughs> David Faust hey, has made his mark as Darth Vader, but what does the future Sexy of Star Wars have in store for this man behind the mask? The only things I've heard um, are that each trilogy um, is going to concern what happens to the two robots, R2-D2 and C-3PO. They're the only two things which are going to be constant through all three trilogies because we're obviously going to do 7, 8, 9 eventually. You know, from- 7, 8, 9 eventually. So, the, so George wanted to have like episode 4 be its own story and then like 5 is its own story? And then eventually it's just about C-3PO. It's C-3PO with the Ewoks. It's C-3PO and R2-D2 go on a happy adventure. Because at the end of the, I guess, I guess I, I could end, like if you think about it, they all like, they have the award ceremony at the end of four. Yeah. And the reaction yes. I get everywhere I go, everybody says, you know, are you going to be Darth Vader again? And I said, well, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Like, you know, I'm just waiting for the call from George. Was he actually Vader for the other ones? I wonder. I, Chat. Do we have any uh, Star Wars fans have, that know right? Did he actually get the job back, or they go, we could just fucking hire anybody? Yeah, it's just a guy. In a it's suit. just a guy who needs to be tall. Like uh, for the longest time, he didn't get it. He didn't. He oh. didn't get the call back. He didn't. Fingers Damn, crossed. Dude. They didn't even ask. They're like, well, if you keep getting the same guy, his lawyer and his agent go, oh, more money this time because you want him. It's like, well, we could, dude, anybody can wear that fucking suit and stand there. Like I didn't think Pedro Pascal needed to be in the Mandalorian suit. He just needed to do the voice. I, I wondered that all the time. I'm like, that's so stupid to even think that. Of course, it's just some guy who's getting paid way less to do all the stuff where he's in the suit, right? I think it's easy for, like, stunts. It's, is Pedro ever on the I think he's episodes? in the suit. I think he's just doing the voice. You think he's doing the, only doing the voice? I think there's a, there's a stunt dude who's just getting paid, like, 20 bucks an hour to wear the thing. <laughs> to sweat and to do all the prop shots. He's just the voice. He wasn't in it. Yeah, there's no way. It's, it's like, are he, you sure though, dude? If you have Brad Pitt, but he's just the voice, are you gonna have Brad Pitt in person to wear a bucket on his head? Yes. You're gonna get some random guys like, hello, yes, I'm here for the job, and then this guy's gonna show up and go like, put a bucket on that guy. Pedro Pascal in the Mandalorian suit. Is he in the suit? How often? How is, often? How often? Well, when he takes his helmet off, duh. But that only happens what twice. No, he shows up to a studio lot in L.A. and does a fucking did, voiceover. But he doesn't do it anymore. Wait, wait, wait. But he said, but, but, something. He did wear the suit, but not anymore. Because he got too expensive. One to two, first seasons. One to two seasons. So half the time. And then he was like, nah, I'm fucking over that shit. He did at least for one and two. Seasons one and two. The first season. For when he has his helmet off. He would be on set as often as he could be. Really? Wow. Mm. I'm like, it's just his voice. That's what I thought. All right. All right. But, I mean, it is smart to just put a mask over your main character and be like, we could just have any guy do it. Let's get the cheap guy. You don't even have to do the mouth. Yeah. They realize they didn't need to at some point. Uh, at a certain point, like, why are we paying us these high prices for this guy? Yeah, he's getting injured and stuff. He's paying for the voice. Kind of ruins the magic. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they're, they're not you never actually, thought about that? They're not actually traveling. Oh, uh, now I can't watch this anymore. Grogu, I mean, you can see me. Grogu's not real. But yeah, like, Don, if uh, my agents were in on this, I would be like, you got to get it in there. I need to be there in person because then the money just stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks. And stacks. You don't want to just do the voice. You don't want to. You get more money if you're in the suit. Fuck yeah, you do. You stand there. They got to get your trailer. They got to get all that stuff. Just the way you like it. For an entire There's no person in Baby Yoda. I thought so it was there's a, little, a real, real baby. There's a real baby in there. Oh, they stuffed a real baby with a mask. It's a real baby. And it's cooing like a real baby. Wow. Generation. The only way people have been able to experience the epic. Beep, beep. 
man. Yo, uh, no retreat, no surrender. Thank you for the brand new, new sub, man. Sub. Thank you, dude. Trilogy of Star Wars, the Empire. I would want to be in the suit. Return oh, of the Jedi, because it's just cool. Yeah, to be at a Star Wars set wearing the thing, and the way they do it now, they don't even do the green screen. They do like that warped screen mm -hmm. that projects the background. Yeah. It's fucking cool. Been on the television screen until now. Oh. No one to stop us this time. No one to stop us this time. Yeah, we're just, okay, okay. This is Star Wars. Okay, now we're just watching Star Wars. This is when they got re-released in movie theaters, we're which was a big deal at the time, man. Live streaming Star Wars. This guy always grossed me the fuck out. Not not Jabba. The other guy grossed oh, me out. Oh, the tentacle guy? Yeah, something's going on. I got dicks. Here we have him. more ladies for you to suck at. So many dicks and balls and sharp teeth on and his, his head. little monkey friend. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> look at that 3D wire. Wow, Peter look at that guy. Jabba. Computer cool. generated Jabba. Jabba. This project here was about five shots. Took about a year to do. Five <laughs> shots took a year. Maybe another year would have been better. Fuck. Nowadays they could do that kind of shit in like a weekend. An AI can do it. Easy. The ultimate goal is to make it look like Jabba was on the set talking to Harrison Ford and we just photographed it. This is the original plate that George shot. So the plan was for us. Wow. Look at the titty me. Remove this actor and wow. A whole year for this. Well, the lighting doesn't even match at all. Nah, they tried. That shadow on the arm. Place him with jab. Yeah. All oh. The same. Doesn't even look like him. Ugh. Awful. Things in a similar kind of style. She used a puppet. Now we're just, just one practical. Now we're just watching Star Wars. There he is, your George. Well, so I'm perfectly happy, but it would be fun to be able to share that intangible part of the experience of oh, seeing George. a large theater with hopefully millions of people. Do you think it was hard to work with? You're all clear, kid. On the prequels, I think he just had the, the documentaries about it and all that. It's so good to watch. The Red Letter Media, mm -hmm. Mr. Plinkett's on him. So good. I don't know. Well, the first one, didn't they say everybody else was the one who stepped in and saved it and editing and all the other people around him? Yeah. yeah. And I, I, did he direct uh, Empire? Empire? The Empire. Director. No, he didn't Empire. even direct it. Yeah. No. Nope. That's right. Mr. Urban. Urban did. Yo, shout outs again. Liking and the, the sharing and subscribing of the Dave's archives. My man, my boy. Um,. Oh, let's do something else, huh? Yeah, and if you're new to the channel, appreciate a follow. Peace out, Vaughn. Yeah, man.